Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about vector equations of plants. Since this topic is a bit complicated and confusing, so I separate the topic into two parts such that I can explain it in detail in order to make you understand well. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe my channel by hitting the subscribe button below so that you won't miss any videos later. If you find that this video is useful, please share to your friends, to your students or to anybody who need this. So, let's start the lesson right now. In this video, I'm going to talk about vector equations of plants in scalar product form. Actually, there are more than one method to express vector equations of plants. In this video, I will focus in scalar product form. So generally, the scalar product form of vector equations of plants that is R times N equals D. So what is R? R is the position vector of any point which is on the plane that we do not know. Then we label as X, Y, Z. So this is the position vector of any point on the plane. Then N is a direction vector which is perpendicular to the plane, which is 90 degree to the plane. Then what is D? D is a scalar product of vector P times vector N. So what is vector P? P is the position vector of a point on the plane that we know. Either it is given in coordinates or given in position vector. Because we know that coordinates and the position vector is equivalent. Then when we multiply position vector P with the direction vector N, when we simplify, we will get the value of D. So means finally, when we write the vector equations of plants, we will use R dot N equals D. So from the vector equations of plants, we can only see the direction vector of N and we do not see the position vector of P. Now, when finding the vector equation of a plane, there are two things we must know. One is the position vector of a point which is on the plane. Another one is a direction vector which is perpendicular to the plane and we call it as normal vector. Now, how to find the position vector? The position vector normally it is given in the question. It is either given as the coordinates of a point or the position vector of the point. Because we know that coordinates and position vector is equivalent. Or maybe we will be given the equation of a straight line which is on the plane. Because from the equation of a straight line, we know that A is the position vector of a point which is on the straight line. If the straight line is on the plane, means the position vector A also on the plane. So means we can use the position vector A as the position vector of the plane. Or maybe we are asked to find the intersection point of two different straight lines. From the intersection point, we must make sure that the intersection point is on the plane. If the intersection point is on the plane, so means we can use this intersection point as the position vector of the plane. Now we go to normal vector. How do we find the normal vector? So maybe we will be given a vector which is perpendicular to the plane directly. 
So means this perpendicular direction vector can be used as the normal vector of the plane. Or maybe we will be given a straight line which is perpendicular to the plane. From the equation of the straight line, we can see the direction vector of the straight line. Since the straight line is perpendicular to the plane, so means the direction vector of the straight line also perpendicular to the plane. So means we can use the direction vector of the straight line as the normal vector of the plane. Or maybe we will be given a parallel plane. From the equation of the plane, we can see the normal vector of the plane. If the two planes are parallel, means the normal vector also can be used as the normal vector of another plane. Now let's look at this question. Find the vector equation of the plane that passes through the point 1, 3, negative 2 and is perpendicular to the line given here. So in this question, the coordinate point 1, 3, negative 2 is given which is on the plane. Then from here, we will get the position vector of the point. Then the plane is perpendicular to the line. So from the equation of the line, we can get the direction of the straight line. So this direction of the straight line is perpendicular to the plane. So means this direction of the straight line can be used as the normal vector of the plane. So now when we substitute the position vector and the normal vector in the equation, so this is position vector of any point, this is normal vector, this is the position vector of the point, this is normal vector. Now when we find the dot product, which is 1 times 1, 3 times negative 1 and negative 2 times 2. So when we simplify, we get negative 6. So finally, we get the vector equation of the plan. Then we change the final answer back into unit vector form. Now we look at another example. A plan contains the line given and parallel to the another plan. Here, in this question, the plane contain the line means the line is on the plane. So since the line is on the plane, so the position vector of the line is also the position vector of the plane. So from here, we get the position vector of the plane. Then the direction vector of the line cannot be used as the normal vector of the plane because it is not 90 degree. So to get the normal vector, we can get from the parallel plane. From the parallel plane, we can see that the normal vector is this one. Since these two planes are parallel, so the normal vector can be taken from the normal vector of the other plane. So now when we substitute the position vector and the normal vector into the equation and we simplify, we find that the dot product of the position vector and the normal vector is equal to 6. So now we can get the vector equation of the plane. Then we change the final answer into unit vector form. Next example, find the vector equation of the plane that passes through the point 3, negative 2, 1 and is parallel to x, y plane. From the coordinate point, we can get the position vector of the plane. As for the normal vector of the plane, since the plane is parallel to the x, y plane, for the xy plane, the direction vector which is 90 degree to xy plane is the unit vector of the z-axis. 
that is the vector k. Since these two planes are parallel, so the normal vector of the plane is also the direction vector of k. When we substitute the position vector and the normal vector into the equation and we simplify, now we get the vector equation of the plan. Then we change the final answer into unit vector form. Now for this question, find the vector equation of the plan that passes through the point negative 3 to 1 and is parallel to x, z plan. Now, for the position vector, we can directly take from the coordinate point. Then, as for the normal vector, since the plane is parallel to x, z plane. So, from the diagram, the direction vector which is 90 degree to x, z plane, that is the direction vector of y axis, that is vector j. Since these two planes are parallel, so the normal vector is also the same. That is the direction vector j. So when we substitute the position vector and the normal vector, then when we simplify the scalar product, then we get the vector equation of the plane. Then we change the final answer back into unit vector form. Next example, find the vector equation of the plane that passes through the point 3 to negative 1 and is parallel to yz plane. Now first for the position vector, we can directly take from the coordinate point and for the normal vector, the plane is parallel to yz plane. When we look at the diagram for yz plane, the direction vector which is 90 degree to yz plane is the unit vector of the x axis that is the unit vector i since these two planes are parallel so means the normal vector is also the same that is the unit vector of x axis that is vector i so now when we substitute the position vector and the normal vector into the equation and we simplify, now we get the vector equation of the plan. Then we change the final answer into unit vector form. Now when writing vector equations of plans, other than using unit vectors, we can also write the vector equations in Cartesian form. To change the equation to Cartesian form, first we try to write the normal vector into column vector form. R is the position vector of any point on the plane that we do not know. Then we use x, y, z. Then after that we try to find the scalar product of these two vectors. That is x times 4, y times negative 1, z times 3. Now, here, this is the Cartesian form of the vector equations of the plan. So, same thing, if we are given the Cartesian form, we can also change back into unit vector form. First, we put all the x, y, z in one color vector and all the coefficient in another column vector. Then x, y, z is represented as r. Then 1 is for the unit vector i, 2 is for j and negative 3 is for k. So now this is the vector equation in unit vector form. Now let's go back to the slide before this. From the question that we discussed just now, actually the normal vector is given in the question. Either it is given directly where the vector is perpendicular to the plane, or it is given indirectly where we can get the direction vector of a line which is perpendicular to the plane as the normal vector. 
or it is given indirectly from the normal vector of a plane which is parallel to the plane. But if we have a question like this, a triangle with the vertices of point P, Q and R, find the equation of the plane P, Q, R. So this question doesn't give any information of the direction vector. So how to get the normal vector? Or another question, find the equation of the plane which passes through the point 1, 2, 3 and contains the line of intersection of the two planes. From this question, even though we are given the equation of the planes, but the normal of these planes cannot be used as the normal of the plane that we want to find because they are not parallel. So how do we solve this question? If you want to find the solution, stay tuned for my next video. I will explain in detail how to solve these two questions. So, that's all for now. Do you understand what you learned today? If you have any question, let me know in Teacher Eileen Maths Group. If you find that this video is useful, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you keep on learning and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you soon. Bye!